Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active an important sky, a concentrated sky, if you will, and it's all happening in one part of the zodiac fellow earth sign Taurus. Now, this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with expanding your worldview, understanding your place in the world, and being in front of more of the world than you have been before. There are a lot of things covered here, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, publishing as well, uh, teaching and expansive philosophies are covered here and learning new languages as well. So all of this is highlighted for you at this time. Now what is especially notable is that it starts with a new moon right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have a powerful new moon. Now this is one of the best or most well aspected new moons that I have seen in a long time. This new moon will be speaking in harmony with Neptune in your opposite sign, also speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto, which are also in Earth signs as well. So all of this tells me that there is power, there is purpose, there is a sense of outcomes with long-term implications, a sense of being able to change your life in a way that you love, that allows you to bring forward some of your best talents and best capabilities, but also feeling like people are very much on your side towards these new beginnings. Now, what happens around the new moon isn't going to be just isolated to that moment. We've got other things happening around this time as well that do suggest the energy is carried forward throughout the month and that whatever comes up, the new people, the new opportunities, you are able to continue to tap into them and they will continue to surprise you and delight you long after the new moon is over. Now, under the light of the new moon, we are going to have Mercury changing signs, moving into the same part of the sky as the new moon, and very quickly meeting Uranus in the sky. Right in the middle of the month, Venus will move into this part of the sky as well and very quickly connect with Uranus. So this adds this element of taking leaps forward, being surprised, but for you being delighted by the opportunities that can find you. And make no mistake, this really is a sense of things getting big, things getting purposeful, and things getting eventful for you. If this new moon and all the energy taking place in this part of the sky says anything, it says that you come out of whatever private space you have been in and instead are known more. And instead you know more. And in this way, this will be a truly consequential month for you. A month where you realize that you truly made progress and for some it's going to feel as if a vision was revealed and you put yourself in alignment with it so that you could manifest bigger and better further down the road. So all of this is happening right out of the gate. You're going to start feeling this energy as we start May and these blessings are going to stay with you as we progress towards the later part of the month, right around the 18th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that is when we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is a little bit more personal. It has to do with communications of all kinds. It has to do with your siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And it has to do with any kind of messages that you may uh, give or receive, learning new skills and synchronistic moments. So all of these are gonna be uh, a special interest around the days of the full moon. The full moon will be standing across the sky from Mercury. So there's this sense of needing balance, this sense of taking what otherwise would be visionary, would be hopeful, and again, going out into the world and now figuring out how you're gonna communicate that. What is it exactly that you do want to say and bringing forward the skills, the more specific skills that are gonna allow you to take advantage of the opportunities that could find you in the earlier part of the month. But also, as I said, these people, siblings, cousins, neighbors, they are gonna come into focus at this time. 
Pluto is speaking to this full moon in harmony, but it is what astrologers call a wide orb, meaning that you've got to have a little bit more intention and able to bring forward uh, the better qualities of this harmonious conversation. And it looks like you are able to transform relationships with these people. You are able to be influential but first you have to be willing to have the conversation. You have to be willing to look at what isn't working within these particular relationships and then summon the courage and cultivate the words so that you can be a force of transformation within these particular relationships. It is possible now that one of these people I mentioned comes to you with news, something is changing for them, and it's gonna be up to you to decide how you're gonna approach it and cultivating the wisdom to ensure that you are approaching it from a sense of being a force of positive transformation for yourself, for them, and within that relationship as well. It could be that you have more questions or they have questions of you and you're trying to find balance within these particular bonds. Well, you will get there. That is the encouraging thing. It is when you are tapping into the excitement and the enthusiastic energy of the early and mid part of the month that you're able to navigate the whole month that much more being sort of a philosopher in other people's life and thereby facilitating deeper bonds think about what it means to take a philosophical approach it means to have perspective it means to bring wisdom and it means to be able to look at yourself and your own life from a larger perspective well the great thing is is that you have that perspective now and with a little bit of willingness you're able to bring it forward so that it blesses not only your life but the life of a lot of people around you as well now where it comes to matters of love it is going to be venus moving into the same part of the sky this expansive part of the sky that is part of what allows you to bring love and experience love in more of the world and from more of the world at that now that can be platonic that can be romantic as well now you add to this the fact that these planets right now saturn and pluto that are moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things but it includes romance and flirtation and of course neptune in your opposite sign as well all of these planets are going to be lit up throughout this week thanks to Mercury, your ruling planet, and thanks to Venus in the second half of the month, reaching out to these power players. And of course, the way that these planets are activated at the important lunar events I spoke about this month. And so love may very well be part of the motivation and part of the impetus that gets you to the place of tapping into the best that the energies can be now. For those of you open to meeting someone new, in the first half of the month, we've still got Venus moving through a very consequential part of your sky. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with being known more profoundly by another. And it's very interested in authenticity. And so if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, if you feel it, you feel it and you will be all in. If you don't feel it, then nothing it is that could be done otherwise is going to make it work for you. As we move into the middle and beyond in this month, uh, chances are there is going to be somebody who represents an international love, if you will, someone very different than anyone you've known before, perhaps from a very different background or culture or philosophy or religion than you've known before. And this, in a sense, opens up the world to you through heart, and through desire. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, you know, I do think the first half of the month is very much about being more honest with yourself about how you feel about this person and whether or not you feel that there could be something here. And if it is the case that you feel that this could continue to be nurtured, then once we get you past the middle of the month, uh, that is when this person may end up surprising you. And it could be a surprise in terms of uh, them letting you know something that they believe or some worldview that they hold that you had not expected. Now, from there, it's always up to you to decide if it works for you or if it doesn't, but it should be an interesting moment that presents you with an interesting perspective on the world and us and uh, the universe as well. And for those of you who are 
in an established bond. I feel like this is such a beautiful month if you are in an established bond. That new moon in the early part of the month is gonna mean that much more to you because of the way it's speaking to other power players. It's gonna allow you to feel that your partner supports the changes that you are going through and the aims that you have in terms of experiencing more and taking on an adventure. Where the new moon is happening early in the month is a very adventurous part of the sky. And there is gonna be a desire to take your partner along and the desire and the opportunity may come up very much by surprise, if not shock, but ultimately could be a moment that bonds the two of you that much closer as you navigate towards the later part of the month. What I love about this month for you, well look, it's gotta be that new moon, right? It's in your own element. This is energy you're able to use that much more to your advantage and that much more harmoniously to you. And this is gonna allow you to truly feel as if you have a message and that you're learning more about that. You're learning more about what it is that you really believe and what it is that really inspires you in a larger sense. Other people are very much a part of this process and a part of this journey. And it is ultimately you knowing that there are other people on your side that's gonna allow you that much more courage and that much more excitement in the new adventures coming up ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.